let's say you we want to update the model and say i want to add some condition many times you are doing a workflow and you say in step five compute the answer if the answer is greater than this do this if the answer is less than this do this right how do you can kind of implement this condition or if you say if the user selects state highways do that user selects national highways do that yes yeah, so how do you implement those kind of conditions here what i want to do is i want to implement a condition where I want to test the improvement I get with the spatial index. So I want to have a model where I have one more button here or one more check mark it says, if I check this, it will use the spatial index. If I don't check this, it won't use the spatial index. So let's implement a model where it has a condition where I can add an input. If the input is true, it's going to run the model with the spatial index. If not, it's going to run without a spatial index. So let's see how we can do this. So first step, let's add an input. I'm going to use an input type Boolean, yes or no. So this is kind of a checkbox input that we can use. So I'm going to add that and I'm going to name it use spatial index. So this is one more input to my model and you can see how it looks. You can see this as a button here or checkbox. If I check this, my idea is if I don't check this, it's going to run the model without a spatial index. If I check this, it's going to use it with a spatial index. To implement a condition, if you switch to the algorithm tab, there is a section here which doesn't exist in your main QGIS processing toolbox. This is a section called moderate tools. These are the additional tools that are available to you, which are not available in the main processing toolbox because these make sense only as in the context of a model. So there are things like, I want to place an exception. Maybe during a model, you want to throw an error to the user. You can use this and say, if you do this, you'll throw an error or when you're running the model, there's a log that gets generated. Let's say you want to save it to a file for, for future debugging. You can add all of those steps to your model and this tools can be added here. I want to use this tool here called conditional branch. This allows you to have a branch where it will evaluate a condition. If it's one way, it will go one way. If it's another way, it will go another way. Let's bring it in. I'm going to name this conditional branch and let's add one condition. So my condition, I'll have a branch saying that use spatial index. I have two branches, use spatial index and don't use spatial index. This is just a name for your own information. Here is what's the condition that you should have some expression. When the expression is true, it will use this condition. So let's go to our expression editor. When should we use spatial index? Well, we just added one input to the model. So when the user says, I'll check this box. When you check this box, this variable use spatial index will be true. This variable was automatically created based on the input that we added. Since we named the input as use spatial index, the model name, the variable name is also use spatial index. So when the user checks that box, this variable will be true. So say when they have set this variable to true, go to this branch. And what's the opposite of that? when this is false. So the opposite of that is not. So when you say not of any variable, it will be just inverse of that. So you say when the this is not true, go and use this one. So now I have two branches and I have configured this. Here there's a slight kind of odd way to do this. If you enter a condition and do not press enter, they don't get saved. So when you configure this, make sure you press enter after entering the condition. Otherwise, you click OK and come back, it's gone. So make sure you press enter and you have these conditions. So now this two conditions, I can now configure my model to say I will use those conditions for certain things. So we'll say we have the step here, create spatial index. This part of the workflow should only run when this branch is true. So I'm going to say come here and create spatial index. There's a dependency here. I can go to the dependency and says run this only on condition when use spatial index is true. And you'll see what happens. You can see this one is now connected to this part of the branch. So my model will come here and say, is this condition true? Then only it'll go through this workflow. If it's not true, then what we want to do, we want to say, okay, I'm going to run this extract by location without the spatial index. I'm going to add one more algorithm to it. And I'm going to change the description because all the algorithms have the same description. I can change it. I can say, this is part where we are not using the spatial index. And 
when you're not using a spatial index, we'll use not the index layer, the grid layer. And this one is the dependencies, this condition don't use. So you can see my conditional branch has now two branches here. The model splits here. If this is true, it goes through this. If it's not true, it goes through here. And finally, we have the count points in polygon. I'm going to also use this. So in this one, we'll take the output from the don't use index stuff. And then I have my, so this here. So I have my count points in part one. So I'm going to remove this. And so count points in polygon. Here we say which one should we use? We have these two layers. If this was true, this will be generated. If this is false, this will be generated. I have two extracted uh, layers. In some cases, only this will be available. In some cases, only this will be available. So instead of defining which is my polygon layer statically, we can say this would be a pre-calculated value. This will allow us to specify an expression. And we'll say, if my spatial index was true, the layer that we want to use will be this one. If it's false, use the output, which was generated from the extract by layer when it was not used the spatial index. And this will select the correct layer based on the condition. So you can see now it's connected to both. Depending on the condition, it'll use either of this, which was generated here. And finally, we have our aggregated layer. Okay. Again, there's got a lot of little fiddly parts here. So make sure when you do this, follow the instructions exactly, and you configure it. Let's run this and test if this works. So right now I'm saying don't use spatial index. You can see there is an error here. It took three seconds. We'll come back, check this box. It worked without error. Right, so now I have a model which is using this checkbox as a condition to implement this. Super helpful where you can branch out a model and you can have more than one conditions, more than two conditions. You can have as many conditions as you want in your model to be able to do this. Another thing that many people do is many production models can grow to be having hundreds of steps. It is also useful to keep your models as modular. So let's say you have a model that does this. You save the model, you are now able to use models in other models. So let's say one part of your workflow is done as model one, you start model two, and you say, after you do this, call model one. Take the output of model one, call model two, and so on. So keep each model limited to a specific kind of purpose, and then you can chain even models together. So try to make your models small and then use them inside of another model. It just makes your modeling experience much better. One more thing I can show here is some other model tools that might be useful. Let's say I want to throw an error. So raise exceptions and I can say, just as a demo, I can say, if the user has not selected the spatial index, I can raise error. Should always use spatial index, right? So let's see how this works. We have an error message that is thrown when the user has not selected the spatial index. So let's run the model. We don't select the spatial index. Run. It says you should always use the spatial index, right? So again, you can have those kind of errors or warning messages in your model itself, which is useful for the user to understand.